Welcome to Dude Army. Hey, you got here just in time. We're gonna talk about how to level a Class C motor home. Let's roll that intro. So you're wondering how to level a Class C motor home. You're probably wondering why you need to level your Class C motor home. Well, comfort for one. You want to be comfortable, don't you? How about doors that won't stay open so that you bump into them every, every time you go through them? What about, well, it's not going to do it. There you go. What about shower doors that won't do what you want them to do? Stay open or stay closed. How about sleeping with your head going downhill? Those are all great reasons to know how to level your Class C motorhome. But the more important thing is that the, all of the equipment in your Class C motorhome is designed primarily to operate on a level surface. If you have a two-way power refrigerator and you're on propane, there's a flame in there and it needs to be in the center of the flame blue otherwise the refrigerator is not performing optimum and if you're in an extreme angle it can actually cause a fire which is not good how about the drains all of your drains are are built on level when they're building your your class c motor home so your drains may not function properly my tanks run east to west so if I'm tilted like I am now, the upper portal for the black tank is, I mean, the, the black tank is like this and the toilet's on the downhill side. So if that black tank is starting to get full, there's not as much capacity. So let's, let's get into how to level a Class C motor home. Well, the first thing is you need to know level. Where is level? And the best way to find that is to actually invest in a level i really like the johnson level bought this at lowe's it's a two foot but it's easy to see it's got a nice big bubble and you can see that we're, we're not too far it, it looks like we're actually not too far off of level front to back the truth be told you have to see the you have to see outside because this is just a small snapshot Side to side though, we are definitely needing to get some levelage going. Well, let's go outside and take a look at the equipment we're gonna use to level our Class C motor home. So I use three different things, three different, three different pieces of equipment to level my Class C motor home. I actually have a Super C motor home and it's actually equipped with an auto level system. But we're, we're going to talk about auto level in a moment because you may not have auto level and you need to know how to level your, your Class C motor home. So most of your Class C motor homes today have dually rear ends and a single tire on the front end. That's critical. That means you're going to need two different types of levelers. So I travel with just the typical, the, the, just the square Camco block. And oh, by the way, most of these products will be found on Amazon. The links are in the description below. I am an affiliate and any purchase you make does help support the channel. When, when you're leveling a dually motor home, uh, when you're leveling your Class C motor home with dually rear end, you, you need support under both tires. You don't want all of the weight of the rear end sitting on one tire on each side. You need to spread that load out because that's a lot of weight. But Trudy, Trudy got a big butt. So we want to make sure all of our big butt is, is well supported. So I carry a, a doubler block. So it's actually this, this, the width of two of these. So I can set up. I'm doing this all, doing this all one handed. I can build a platform. and lock it all together. It's 
so it gives me two blocks now there are there are products like tri-levelers that are that are already pre-formed and they have three three tiers but they don't they're not as compact which is why i like these i could actually carry two sets of these and take up less space than a dually tri-leveler and i can carry two of these and they take up less space than two tri-levelers and they they're just easier to store now that's not to say you can't get the tri-levelers i know there's a lot of people that love those i like things to be real versatile i have found that i really only need one set of each for most most campgrounds now if i need more than this i'm gonna go find a different site because that's gonna make the rv just difficult to get into so here i camp here quite frequently this is my mother's i'm visiting mom this weekend and I, I camp here quite often so much so that I, I don't use these anymore hold on i'll show you what i use so i'm setting up here often enough that that it occurred to me one day why, why do i keep messing with those snapping all that together when i can just build what i need uh, because we've got it works out to be i need six inches to get close to level here and so i just built platforms to back up onto let me get on the platforms and then we'll talk about using the auto level system many of the private rv campgrounds require you to have some type of of pad between your jack or your stabilizer and their concrete or asphalt with with that with these things in mind with the limits the height limit of the leveling system and the need to have this pad when i'm at a private which is not very often but if i'm in a private i need to have something to go under there and so i put these blocks together and these blocks they're heavy but they get the job done now we've just recently added snap pads so so trudy got a new pair of shoes but there's the snap pad it wasn't very hard to put on here just watch this video now. too very difficult but they don't really add a whole lot of elevation now they do add to the footprint of the jack pad which is good and it, and it allows for some surface inconsistency so there's less damage less likelihood of damage to that jack foot with the limitations of the jack system in this scenario one of the things that you need to be aware of with an automatic leveling system is that the system determines so when the jacks go down they'll go down until they touch and then they'll it'll figure out based on when each jack stops where the surface of the ground is and it's always going to raise the the jacks evenly once it gets close to level it's going to raise all of them about an inch I'm trying to make sense of this because we're on the blocks and this jack has to travel down farther it's going to raise the front more when it goes into level which is going to going to raise the step now we're already going to raise the step quite a bit because we lean this way but if we're having if the jack system is having to compensate for what it thinks is a really deep hole in the ground it's going to raise those 
that front end even higher off the ground. I'm actually going somewhere with this. I don't put my yellow pads under the front jack. I double them up on the rear. So when it goes to do the auto level, it touches those pads at about the same time that it touches here. So then it, so then all it is really doing is adjusting for the side to side and then picking up one inch. So I don't end up with my front wheels off the ground or my back wheels. Let me get the jack pads in place, the yellow blocks, and we'll activate the auto level and you can see how that works. So now the automatic leveling system has done its thing. And you can see our step is quite a ways off the ground, but all four wheels are still on the ground. And if you have slides, that's critical. You don't want any of your tires off the ground, if that can be helped. Now, there have been, been times where I've set up camp with the front wheels off the ground. The main thing is you, you don't want your frame to get twisted and torqued. And sometimes it just can't be helped that you're gonna end up with one side or one end higher than the other. The main thing that I have learned is that your back wheels have got to be on the ground. So let's go check the auto level and see how, how close it is. According to the side to side, we're actually low, now we're low on that side. Front to back, we're actually a little high on the back end. So I, I don't get too concerned if the auto level is a, is a little bit off on the north to south. I get, uh, it doesn't really change us, change things too much. But what I really am concerned about is whether or not my doors are gonna be an issue. Now when I push the slide out, that door is going to be swinging open and getting in the way. And my other concern is getting in and out of the shower. Will I be bumping into the glass door? And the glass door is moving. So I'm going to, I'm going to make one little minor adjustment using the manual option. So you turn it on here. And you can see our bubble shows actually shows that it's a little high to that side. So you hold this button and the light comes on and now you're manual so you can adjust side each each pair on one side, the front or the rear. So we're gonna we're gonna extend these just a little bit. That's probably a little more than I needed. Yeah, we're a little, a little high on that side now. But I think my doors are good. Yeah, my doors are staying in place. So now we're gonna push the slide out and see if anything changes. Because when you push your slide out, that adds more weight to that side. And it may sink down a little bit, especially if you've got a soft surface. When you push that out, those jacks are going to settle into that soft surface. Because I'm not on concrete here. So let's push a slide out. Slide is deployed. We're, we're still a little, we're actually a little, went back to a little low on that side now. Let's see what our door does.
I can live with that. What I hate is when it swings all the way open. And I can live with that. So Trudy's all level. We're done. So now you know how to level a Class C motorhome. It's not real difficult. So there's often a lot of trial and error in the beginning. I don't even travel with the level anymore. I, I have just developed that sense, and you will too, that sense of when you when you back in or you get into a campsite, you're gonna know. All right, this, this feels like we're going downhill to the right rear tire, so I need to add some blocks there. And you deploy your landing gear and you realize, what well, isn't that enough? Put it back down and beef it back up. But you'll get the hang of it. Learning how to level a Class C motorhome simply takes experience lots of practice hey i appreciate you sticking with me to this point if this is your first visit to dude rv i'd be really honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along by golly thank you i sure appreciate it and for my patrons you rock all right y'all come back now you hear